Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome to Tuesdays with the Cricut Expression on Cards TV. Now, if you're new here, I hope you'll take just a second and tap that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Now, for our Cricut Expression card today, we're going to use this Cricut Light cartridge called Love You a Latte. And I love this cartridge a latte. It's really cute. It's all about coffee and tea. And I love my coffee, as you guys know. I've got a new Cards TV card kit and caboodle sketch for you guys. This is sketch number 30. I've got all the dimensions on here for you. You can go over to my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. Download this one, or all 30 if you'd like. They're free to download, and just save them where you save your photographs. So you'll have them for future reference. I've used papers from this Lawn Fawn Gotta Have Gingham Petite Paper Pack. And also from this Doodlebug Design 6x6 paper pad called Craft in Color. Now if we look at the sketch, as I said, I've got all the dimensions on here. We've got a card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. Now I don't have this on here, but I like to back my pattern paper with a solid colored mat. And this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this mat, as it shows on the sketch, is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to get these adhered together and get them on my card base and I'll be using some art glitter glue. Now if we look at the sketch you can see I have a border that goes all the way across the card and it's one and a quarter by four and a quarter. But because I cut my brown mat at four and an eighth, I went ahead and cut this at one and a quarter by four and an eighth. And I'm going to get that attached right there. And you can see I've already stamped my sentiment. And I used some Versamark ink and some white embossing powder. And I stamped Get Your Happy On. And for that, I used the Cards TV Mixed Messages stamp set. And there it is right there. Because coffee makes me happy. So I figure it'd make everybody else happy too, right? <laughs> We're going to add something more than coffee to this little card though. So I'm going to get this adhered down. And then next we have a mat over here. Which is 2 by 4 And I cut that out of some pink and white gingham. And I thought it needed to be backed with some more of that chocolate brown. So I cut this at 2 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth. So I'm going to get that adhered down and then get my little mat on the side just like that. I am loving that pink and brown together. Okay, now comes the fun part. From the Love You A Latte cartridge. This is a Cricut Light cartridge. Let's see which ones I used. Okay, in the second column the six cut down, I cut the coffee mug. Let me show you that. And I've done it just a little bit differently. Okay, for this first layer, I cut it out of this dark tan. The second layer, I cut out of this cream color. And I didn't cut one heart, I cut two hearts. I cut one out of pink and one out of brown. Because I'm going to put them on there like this. Just to add a little bit more interest to it. And I did not cut out the word coffee because it just would not cut the way I wanted it to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this layered together. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I cut this at two and a half inches. I got a set of cosmetic brushes. They're actually cosmetic brushes, but I'm going to use them to put some color on my coffee mug. Let me grab a 
piece of paper over here to protect my work surface. And I love these. These work so much better than the sponge dauber. But I'm going to get these adhered together first. But I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. I took some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. And this gives such a soft look, guys. Go a little bit on the paper. And then just go around the edges. And it just gives it just a hint of color to give you some more definition but without leaving big splotches of color just make sure you first go on your white mat or whatever you're using to protect your work surface you can go in a circle if you want or just back and forth either way works but it gives you just a hint of color so I'm going to go ahead and get my mug together and get a little bit more color on here. Get the little hearts on and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, there's my mug all ready for the front of my card. And I'm going to put this on some foam tape. Now I wanted to put a donut on here too. So let's see. The donut is in the third column. The fifth cut down, there it is right there, and here are the pieces to the donut. I cut the bottom out of some of this kind of camel tan color. Then this layer, I cut out of the pink and white gingham because it's going to show through as just pink and white for the sprinkles. So that meant I only had to cut this one extra layer right here with the holes in it out of the chocolate color. I didn't have to cut this one because it's going to come through as pink and white. So I won't have to do a white layer and a pink layer. And that's going to make my cute little chocolate frosted donut. So I'm going to get this adhered together and I'm going to go around it with that tea dye distress ink as well. Here's my finished card, guys. I went ahead and got everything stuck down. I forgot to tell you that I cut the donut at an inch and three quarters, and I cut layers one, two, and four for this cute little donut. And I had some of these sparkly little pink enamel dots. These are from Doodlebug. They're called sprinkles. So I put some of those in the corner in that pretty pink shade. Didn't that turn out cute? And that was using the Cricut light cartridge called Love You a Latte. I used my Cricut Expression and Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle Sketch number 30. Don't forget to go by and pick that up, guys, at cardstv.blogspot.com. It's free to download. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I've had a great time with you today, and I hope to see you again soon with another card. Bye now.